Hey everyone, Mr. Montgomery again, and today we are going to be uh, focusing on Lesson 3-8, and we're on page 137, so just so you guys can see the number a little bit bigger, I'll write it bigger, 137, we have 1 in the hundreds, 3 tens, and 7 ones. Alright, so if you're not on that page, make sure you pause the video and find that page in your Robot Turtle book. All right, but if you saw the video playing, I'm guessing you're all good to go. So let's go ahead and read this story problem because we are really focusing hard on story problems today and how we can solve them using any method we want. So let's go ahead and read it, and we're going to circle all the important things that we see in each sentence. It could be a word or a number. Caleb has four more stickers than Zoe. Well, of course, that number four is pretty special. Let's make sure we circle it. Okay. Next sentence. Zoe has five stickers. And that number five is pretty special, too. Circle it. How many stickers does Caleb have? Hmm. Well, there's also a very special word in here that's going to tell us exactly what we need to do. But before I do that, I want you guys to try to think, what do you think we're going to be doing to solve this problem? Are we going to use a plus sign or a minus sign? Are we going to add or are we going to subtract? I want you to take a fun guess and just point to whichever one you think we're going to use. All right, now that you've picked, let's go back and read the first sentence. Caleb has four more stickers than Zoe. Huh. You know what? Do you think it's the word Caleb? Nah, 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 it's not Caleb. How about the word stickers? Is that is that the word that we need to look for? No, nah, no, nah, it's not stickers. You know what it is? It's this special word right next to the number four. It's the word more. So go ahead and make sure you underline that word more. Most of the times in word problems. When you hear the word more, that means we're going to add. So we, I know we've read story problems where it says you have three eggs, you get three more. And that word more most of the time will, will mean that we need to use a plus sign. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a space for our number sentence. We need a number space here. We need a plus sign, another number space, our equal sign, and a space for our answer. So what number needs to go first when we add? Is it the four or the five? Well, that was kind of a trick question, because we learned a while ago that we can add in any order. It really doesn't matter. So we can put the four first or the five. I'm feeling kind of crazy, uh, and I'm going to put the five first. Okay? So I use the five, check. The four then needs to go on the second line, right? Because it's not going to be the answer. Now on your own, I want you to go ahead and solve four plus five. I know you guys can do this one on your own, and you're probably thinking this is too easy, but that's okay. Go ahead and solve four plus five really quick while I make a number line. All right, did you solve it? If you're still working on it, that's fine, but pause the video. All right? Now, if you did solve it, let's kind of go over this together and find out if you uh, have the correct answer. And if not, we'll find out where your mistake is. It's okay if we make mistakes. So if we want to use a number line, let me switch my colors here. Uh, my first number is 5, so that means I have to start on 5, right? Put a little dot here. And then our second number is four. That tells us how many jumps. So let's go ahead and make four jumps. One, two, three, four. I stop. I landed on nine. So we know that five plus four is nine. 
but maybe you like using a different way to do things, and that's fine. Uh, maybe you like to make a quick picture, and you could just, you know, make some dots. For five, you make five dots. Two, three, four, five. And for four, we make four dots. One, two, three, and four. And then you just count them all together, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we still get nine as our answer. So Caleb has how many stickers? Well, he has nine. We just figured that out. So let's go ahead on to the next page, page 138. And we're going to try a couple practice problems together. All right, here's page 138. Now, I know in your book they kind of did number one for us. So I'm going to walk us through it a little faster. And then we'll try number two, okay? Tim writes nine stories. Now, remember, when we have story problems, every time they give us a number, it's very important, and we should make sure we circle it so we don't forget that it's there. So Tim writes nine stories. He writes three fewer stories than Daisy. So that number three is also pretty special. How many stories did Daisy write? Now, there is also a very important word in this story problem that tells us if we're going to add or subtract. So I'm going to read it one more time. I'm going to put a little plus sign and a minus sign here. After I read it, I want you to point to whether you think we're going to add or subtract. Tim writes nine stories. He writes three fewer stories than Daisy. How many stories did Daisy write? Okay, what do you think we're going to do? We're going to add or subtract. Now, this is a very tricky story problem, and I even almost made a mistake. But we're actually going to add. Because we know how many Tim writes, and we know that he writes fewer than Daisy. Okay? So since the number 9 is supposed to be much smaller then Daisy's number of stories? We need to find out what she has. So we're going to combine our two numbers. So let's go ahead and put our plus sign in the middle. And since we're adding, it doesn't matter which number goes first. But I like to always make sure I put the big number first, so that way if I do any subtraction problems, I don't accidentally make a mistake of putting the small number first. So that's just my uh, little trick and preference that I always put the nine first. And that means three goes second. And of course, we can make a quick number line. And since we're starting with the number nine, we start nine here. 10, 11, 12, and 13. So we have 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Okay, that's my little number line that I made up. So to solve it, we just uh, now solve the addition sentence just like we normally would. 9 is our starting number. Make a little dot. 3 is our jump number. So we make 3 jumps. 1, 2, 3. And stop. And we land on 12. So that means Daisy wrote 12 stories. All right. I know this was, to me, I thought that this was a very, uh, let's say, not the best worded story problem. I would never give you guys a story problem that is that confusing. So don't worry about it. Let's try number two. I'm going to read the whole story problem. And what I want you to do first is, as we read it, circle all the important things that you hear. So we're going to do this in steps. Sherry reads six comic books. Dally reads five more comic books than Sherry. 
How many comic books did Dally read? Now, I want you to make sure you circled anything you heard that sounded important, which means any special words or numbers. I'm going to read it one more time, but faster. Okay, make sure you circle anything special. Sherry reads six comic books. Dally reads five more comic books than Sherry. How many comic books did Dally read? Okay, are you all done circling stuff? Okay, let's check. Make sure you circled all the correct things. Number six is important. So is the number five. And there is one very important word in here. And that's the word more. We saw this on the last page. And more will all usually mean that we're going to add, right? Let's so go ahead and put a plus sign in the middle. Now go ahead and make the number sentence and solve it all by yourself. All right, did you go ahead and solve that one? If you're still working on it, that's okay, but pause the video and make sure you finish, okay? So we have six and five are our numbers, and we know we're going to add because we have the word more. And since we're adding, we can put the numbers in any order we want. But I like to put the big number first. So six plus five. And we can even make a little number line here. Because I don't know about you, but I love my number lines. Okay, so I made number line from 6 all the way to 12. So our starting number is 6, so we make a dot on the 6. And our second number is 5, so we make 5 jumps. 1, 2, 3, four and five, I stop, and I landed on 11. So six plus five is 11. So how many books did Dally read? Well, he read 11 books. He read, he read quite a bit more than Sherry did. But let's just do one more problem together, okay? Just one more, one more. So let's go ahead over to the next page, page 139. All right, we're on page 139 right now. We're going to do one more together. And then I'll let you get uh, I'll let you guys do the rest on your own after this. But don't worry, I will read the ones you're you'll do on your own. I'll read them to you before the video is over. Okay? So let's go up here to number 3. Now, as I read it, I want you to circle the important things that you hear. That could be, of course, a number or a word, just like we practiced a second ago. Okay. Tracy buys 10 buttons on Monday. She buys more buttons on Tuesday. Now she has 19 buttons. How many buttons did Tracy buy on Tuesday? So did you circle all the important things? All right, well, let's check. Let's check we circled. So we have 10 and 19. And we have this word more again, which is very important. It tells us we're going to add. So now we can kind of set up a number sentence. We need a blank line, our plus sign, another blank line, our equal sign, and a spot for our answer. So what number goes first? Now, this, I, I feel like this is a little tricky here. Um, the number that needs to go first here is actually 10. And here's why. I'm, doing, I'm walking through this problem with you guys a bit more because of how they worded it and how they want us to solve this. It is a bit more complicated. So 10 is our first number, and they're saying that we need to add, right? But then they say, 
Okay, after Tuesday, after she buys her more buttons, we don't know how many more she bought. That's a big question mark. But at, after Tuesday, she has 19 buttons. And this is where it's tricky because 19 is the total. They're saying after she buys more buttons, now she has 19 buttons all together. So now that we built this, and uh, <laughs> I'm upset that they do this to us, guys. I, I know you don't like these problems. I'm not a big fan of them either. But now that we built our addition sentence, I want you to try to solve this on your own. Make sure that you use what method works for you, like maybe a number line. So I'll make a little number line down here while you guys are working on this. Okay, did you give this one a good try? If you're still working on it, that's okay. Pause the video. All right, that's why we have the video, so we can pause it and we can take our time. So, let's go ahead and work on this together if you're all done. And let's make sure we check our work. So, to find the missing part right here, all we need to do, it's much easier than you think, we're still going to use our start number, right, which is 10. And we already know where we're going to end, right? We know where we're ending. We're ending at 19. So we're actually going to put another dot on 19. And all we need to do is count how many jumps it takes to go from 10 to 19. All right, ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And if you forgot, but you drew your jumps, you can number them and count the bumps. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, nine bumps. We jumped nine times. So it's ten plus nine. Nine is our answer. So how many buttons did she buy on Tuesday? She bought nine buttons. All right, so I know this was a trickier one. That's half the reason why I want to make sure I did that problem with you guys, and I didn't just you know let you go off and do it on your own because I know it's a trickier problem. Uh, for number four and five, I'm going to read them to you. These are the ones you're going to do completely on your own. I will read them now. So that way you can circle all the important things you hear before the video is over. But I want you to try these completely on your own, okay? Jen has nine coins. Jen has six fewer coins than Owen. How many coins does Owen have? All right, so that's, that's one problem. And number five says... 14 cans are on the table. Five cans are big. And the rest are small. How many small cans are on the table? Just keep in mind, this is a super big number, you know? <clears throat> hint, hint. Hint, hint, guys. Just, just saying, hint, hint. We did a similar problem up here, okay? But go ahead, try number four and five on your own. That is your independent work. For friends that might not be in the classroom watching this, make sure you let your teacher know that the video is over and that, you know, ask them what they might want you to do next. Maybe they want you to do the same problems. I don't know. But I hope that this video helped. Um, I know that doing story problems it does just take a lot of practice. We have not dealt with a lot of them, but we will be working with these more and more as the year goes on. Okay, if you have questions, please make sure you ask me or if you're having or if you're really, really stuck, make sure you with me on the carpet with some other friends that I might be working with. All right, but that's it, guys. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.